Okay, this is a review of this new Fujia Kirokin cable cutter that I got in a recent Amazon Japan order. So this is made in Japan. Okay, let's just do the, let's see what we can get translated off the back here. So, Fujia Corporation, they're on Instagram, some warning labels, quality labels, but let's look at what we get here. Okay, the grip is round, therefore the parts are tied up at three points. You see the gripping edge there? It's got a slight curve to it. You grab onto it. Yeah, that's... That, that is, that's a good grip on that. Good for even hard wire at the blade edge. Okay, this is gonna go flying. Huh, that wasn't bad at all. We, okay, so hard wires can be cut. So I think they're highlighting the quality of the hinge here. It doesn't rattle, there's no play in it. And they're highlighting the quality of the handle here. In editing, I realized what the point was that they were making here with the nut and bolt in the joint. When it gets jittery or sloppy, you can tighten this. And the PB Swiss number four is the only one I could get in there other than something that's really way too small. This screw is the only one that I could get to move. Yeah, I can't get that loose. It doesn't seem to tighten or loosen, and I don't want to. I don't want to wreck anything. So for comparison, I can get my number seven PB Swiss on the Knipex, and that I can that I can loosen up. You can you can see that's just a a, a nut and a bolt. Whoops, that was too tight, okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can, I can control that on this one. You can see the thicknesses thicknesses are very similar. Do not cut hard wires with this blade. Cable cutting blade. Force is dispersed by a specially shaped blade that cuts the main line one by one. It can be cut with one third of the force. Comparing it to eccentric pliers. Okay, so here they say do not cut hard wires. So you're not supposed to cut hard wire with that part of it, but you can cut hard wire with this part of it. The geometry of this cuts one wire at a time with this style of cable and that it uses one-third the force. Actually, that was pretty easy. So the fulcrum is really close to the cutting part. Yeah, I mean, that 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 actually is pretty easy. Um, that was 14 gauge. Here's some 12 gauge. So for cutting this kind of wire, yeah, okay, but I think the Knipex, this Knipex uh, 9512-200, and they're saying do not cut hardened wire, so this one cannot cut the nail, so I'm not going to be cutting steel nails with it, but this one has that same geometry, 
so I would use this one for okay it felt about the same and then maybe use this one for the smaller one yeah yeah that's it's similar it's similar um, you know what though the 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 the, the Fujia yeah the Fujia is easier actually I know that's and I think it's because they don't Knipex didn't put the fulcrum point as close to the cutting edge on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, the Fujia is just much nicer. So then this is the this is the Knipex 9512-165. Yeah, just a little bit of effort. NH227 that has the fulcrum point really close to the cutting edge and has really sharp cutters. Well, that, I don't know, that seemed about as easy. Yeah, <laughs> the Kiba. I really like this Kiba. Yeah, I'd say that's about the same amount of effort, these two, the two Japanese examples. That's the kind of cable that this was apparently specifically made for, but I need to cut some 4 aught and you know the handle on this is the shorter one. This is the 175. I got the 175 because the 200 was not in stock. So I, I wanted this so I got it in the 175 length. I actually kind of like this size. You can see how it compares to these two Knipex examples. Okay. And then here's the, the Kiba. So how do these compare for cutting this 4 aught stuff? I need something to cut this 4 aught. Maybe these are going to do the job. Maybe these are not going to do the job. I just want to find out. I'm not trying to, to knock Fujiya. This is a really nice pliers. I'm happy with it. I'm just, I just want to try it on this 4 aught. And why not put it on video and see what the results are? Because right now it's not you know that advantage in the geometry isn't really there it's going through it actually it's not going through it too too bad it's four aught is four aught is too much for this four aught doesn't fit in there that wasn't that bad because i wasn't i wasn't real satisfied with the Knipex and how these were doing on this larger diameter copper wire. This is definitely more effort than the Fujia. Definitely more effort. Yeah, here, this one, I don't think this one's even gonna. No. And then the Kiba. This is going to have to take two, two passes. The Kiba is very similar to the Fujia in the amount of effort that it takes. So yeah, I could use I could use this to get through that. Well, that's a mess. Okay, so it'll it'll do four aught. Let's get some two aught. Okay, so maybe 4 aught is a little much with the Fujia. Okay, the Fujia, it looks like it can handle the 2 watt. That's about maxed out. Okay, ooh, that's taking some effort there. Okay, it does it. Let's try the Knipex. Okay, so I, okay, that wasn't too bad. Hard to tell. Okay. Okay, it's th this, this Kiba. It's this one. The key, this Kiba is better at this. Anyway, but for what it's designed for, 
it works really well. It's nice. I'm happy with this purchase. This is a good player. It's diff this is different from the other ones. These are all different from each other. So here's a, just a final close-up. 